So I'm just doing B-roll. It's not that fucking deep. Uh, you are B-roll, that's what you are. I am B-roll. Last time you did B-roll, fucking, you had, uh, what was it? Pibs being like, oh, God. Oh, yeah, when he didn't realise it was a recording. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, kisses and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like when the big man He was such kisses. a dirty little girl, wasn't he? <laughs> This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We got Arthur here. Hello. With the swag shirt on. Mini Fez, if you don't know him, check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description for you. He no, talks a lot about this fucking deck. Best deck, baby, what can I say? Well, he thinks it's best deck because he can play DPE and what else does he need, right? Exactly. So DPE we are... Best card. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> We're here at Cardiff. Uh, my man's just got his top. Uh, where did you get? Third place? Third place. Third place, pretty good, pretty good. X1. So, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good result. And we've got this nice playmat here. Yeah, yeah. It's actually really... Oh, bugger it. Amateur hour over here. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice playmat, so... Yeah, all the good stuff. Anyway, so I'm not going to waste too much more time. Uh, he's not much of a talker. He speaks some sort of weird English. Um, <laughs> so we'll just get into the profile and he'll just say things. Yeah, Sound I'll good? Say things, yeah. Okay. Right, take us away when you're ready. Okay, so the prank kids ratios, the bait ratios. Uh, three dropsies, three lapsies, three fancies, two roxies. Terraforming and two place. Yep. So 14 ways into a prank kid, which is like 91% chance to see a prank kid. Oh, here we go with the maths. Oh, obviously, boys. Uh, I was trying out like 42 cards before the regional, but like I was just not getting good hands, so I decided to slim down to 40. Because I really wanted to play plan today, but it didn't end up mattering. So next we'll go on to the adventure engine, which is free and chapters. Free right, uh, fateful, equip, and Griffin. These cards are pretty good. I mean, it's the standard ratios. I won't talk much about them, but like, this is nice to chain block your prank kid so you don't lose the ash anymore. Omni negate, good card. It's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, two fusion destiny because it's semi limited, unfortunately. It doesn't to... really matter though, does it? They nerfed me, bro. Can't draw it as much now. <laughs> and uh, Dash of Celestial, obviously. Um, for the prank kids, spells slash support slash fusion spells, etc. Two pande, one pranks. This card's very good. Yeah. I was originally playing one pande, but like. It, people are all playing like cosmic now and I don't want to like instantly lose when it gets cosmic yep. so you know a second one is there and uh, Prax recycles everything every turn which is sure. pretty nice and then instant fusion reborns two cards basically yep. which is all it pretty much does uh, the hand traps three lancia this card was cracked today it was insane today Stopped all the 10 e players, all the Sword Soul players, uh, all the PK players. Just such a nice card. Yeah. Even it even came up against Virtual World, which is pretty cool. And the Adventure stuff, obviously. Uh, then we were Free Droplet. Yeah. Uh, this is like the best going second card right now. Yeah. Uh, stops the side combo. It stops like big boards annoying stuff yeah and free super poly okay so talk to me about this because you were theorizing this last night this was yeah, last minute inclusion right this was a last minute and it's inclusion. worked out right it has worked out okay so talk explain to me okay so there's only a few decks which we're scared to play against one being pk uh, because of the scythe combo and one being the mirror match yeah so i was like what card beats both of those stuff? I was like, Super Poly does, because <laughs> draw phase against the uh, PK deck, you just go Super Poly, Fuse, Rusty, and uh, DP yep. into your Starving Venom. Yep. And then Starving Venom gains Griffin's attack, 
And if they don't uh, negate that, you then go uh, Starring Venom effect to copy uh, Griffin's effect. And then when you activate right, it is now an Omni negate. Hey, nice. big spice. Did that against Quincy today. It's very <laughs> funny. Uh, no comment. No comment. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I also put in a target for Virtual Worlds, like, like more Dragon, you know. Just in case. Just in case. I didn't play against uh, Virtual World, but didn't see some quality on both of Yep. Yeah, and then obviously Rocket Ride and stuff with a mirror. Uh, how many men? You're normally good with keeping it tight, right? Yeah, this is 40. 40, yeah. yeah. Okay. I slimmed it down after yesterday. Yeah. Sweet. Next. Yeah. Extra deck. Next. Okay. So our limited meow meow. Unfortunate. We will miss you at free. Uh, free doodle. Uh, the best link two in the deck. Searches one of your power spells. Adds two from grave. Nice card. Uh, nice bow. cock. Nice cock. Literally. Look at it. <laughs> it is literally a cock. Uh, one bow wow. Uh, insane during your opponent's turn adds two from grave and then your stuff can't be destroyed by card effects for the rest of the turn. Yep. Which is insane against like lots of decks because like most removal in this format is destruction other than like the, uh, the quick spell for the adventure sure. ending. Like we don't care about that that much. Uh, Roaring Roaster. I played this mainly for in case like I play against like an Eldritch deck or something. I feel like less people are playing this now, right? Yeah, less people have played it over the last formats because it was combo heavy. I played it just in case like I faced against like a heavy control deck like Eldritch or like Flunders or something. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, this is just Harpy's Feather Duster. And it came up against uh, Jam when he made a 6k uh, towers. I went into this first and then made access code using this to get a 63 access code. It's pretty good. And then I was able to out the towers. It's pretty nice. And then Verte for our DP. Can also send Super Poly and it can turn things dark. Yep. Which is pretty nice. I love you, Have a night. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Nightmare Unicorn spins the card, then upgrades it to access code. Pretty standard and then access code obviously. Yep. Uh, Prank is fusions, one of each. This, you don't usually summon this off Pande, you usually just want to like summon this off instant fusion. Yep. But like it sometimes comes up like uh, against sharks today, he had Kragen. And like I only had one kid, so I had to just like wait until I drew Pande and another kid to then fuse into this sure. to be able to play through it. And uh, DP. Obviously, DP. The engine, and then the super poly targets, starving venom and mud dragon. Obviously, you know, for the PK, like I said, and there's some other dark decks lingering, like dark dragon link. Yeah. And then mud dragon's just a good generic target. Sure. Good against virtual worlds. It's also okay against flunders, I guess. Now, for the side deck, we play. Free skill drain. Discard. Toxic card. Whee! I only actually sided this in one match. You, you basically don't even pay for this because the dropsy fixes it, right? Exactly. Yeah, I only ended up siding it in one match though, which was against JY. Was it cracked? Uh, I did see it, but he couldn't play through my normal combo anyway, so oh, okay, it didn't end sure. up mattering. Uh, free evenly. This card is insane, this format. Uh, if they end on like the adventure wards, you just and like you go evenly. They try to Griffin, and then you just go droplet, and then they have to banish the entire board except the token because tokens can't be banished face down. How did you? How did you? Fun interaction because at the moment everyone's playing Lancia, so I was I also had this side and I took it out. Was it still good? Did people not Lancia or were you were you pretty good? Uh, I mean, usually, after people see I'm playing Prank Kids, they just take out Lancia because, like, they're like, it only hits the adventure engine, and that's only if they open, like, Aquamancer, it's not the best. Yeah. Like, so, like, no one keeps Lancia in against Prank Kids. Sure. So it's cracked in this. And then, uh, Free Twin. Uh, I played this over Cosmic because 
I already play enough cards for the PK matchup, and I, if I go against a control matchup, I want to hit multiple back row instead of just like one. Yeah. And everyone's playing Lanciers, and I don't want to, don't want my only uh, back row hate to be stopped by Lancier. Sure. And like, even if you draw Cosmic against the uh, PK, they can just like negate it with Griffin anyway. So yeah. It's no much point. That's true. Then I play free Dark Ruler just for like the combo spam decks, like Sword Soul, like uh, the PK deck, yeah, Dragon Link, stuff like that. And then free draw. It's just like the only other hand trap that plays through the adventure stuff yeah so like when they add a monster you just draw them there and then if their deck revolves around searching their deck can't do anything yeah so. okay sweet thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile really appreciate it obviously congratulations on your top as well guys you'll notice there the jam jam card uk logo if you want to get some singles with some money off check out Jam Jam Card UK, link in the description. Use code Rufio15 for 15% off. Support this man, support this man, support the other guys that sat around this table, yes, all that sir. good stuff. Uh, any shout outs before we go? Uh, I have a few shout outs. Yeah. Obviously, shout outs to Jam Jam. Jesus. Spots for me. Yeah. Shout out to Jesus. Shout out to DP. Shout out to uh, Shout out Gabriel Susi. Yeah. Because he's the one who actually got me into playing Frank Kids. Okay. He you told me that. that. Shout out Red Lotus, shout out Coliseum, um, Eddie Firmis, shout out Travis. Shout out he Travis? Yeah, he got me into competitive Yu Gi Oh! So sure. I wouldn't be here without him. So. That's cute. Okay. Well, I think that's about it, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, once again, congratulations on your top. Very well done. Thank you very much for coming along, guys. If you haven't already, most definitely hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.